So let's take a look at what is new in Video Studio Pro X7. So one of the great new features, obviously, is that it comes in the 64-bit version. And that this is really, really great because this allows me to use more RAM when I edit high-definition videos. In the 32, I'm, I'm limited to 3.25 gigabytes. With the 64, I virtually have no limit. I can go as high as 16 billion gigabytes of RAM. That's right, 16 billion. So that's really, really good to know that we are now using the 64-bit operating system. Fast Flick is another new feature added to version 7. So let's have a look at this. So here we are, Fast Flick. And what is Fast Flick? Well, if you... If you're just starting out with video editing, this could be ideal for you. It, uh, it does all the work for you. Simply choose the template on the right-hand side. Go into step two, add in your own media. It can be photos or it can be videos. And then just save and share. And this can be done pretty quick and you are ready to upload it to either YouTube or Facebook or just simply share it with your friends. So that's, that's a pretty cool little added feature. So let's go back. Okay, what else? Well, the first thing I noticed that the layout looks very clean. And uh, what I found, it matches the layout of Corel PaintShop Pro, or the same feel and look. So the two programs work really, really well hand in hand. So flicking back and forth, it's uh, uniform. So you're not going to get con too confused. And I like that feature. I really do. So it allows the two to work in like hand and glove. So that's cool. So let's keep moving. What else do we have here? Okay, now, because of the 64, everything is geared towards operating in Ultra HD. All the templates you see here, if I go into backgrounds, this is a new feature as well, backgrounds and color patterns. This is something very new to Video 7. These are all in high definition, uh, so 1920 by 1080. So that's a very nice little add-on as well. And as you can see, some of these pictures are great these these are all designed for background so if you want to make your own intros and so forth so that's really nice help menu just go over here we can click on help and now i can access video tutorials or the user guide in the pdf form i can also access video tutorials over here with this blue icon which is my discovery center icon and this will launch a host of video tutorials within discovery center I have messages in case there's an update coming or they're going to offer new templates. Corral can now message you directly within Video Studio, and that's a new feature within uh, Pro X7. If I go into settings, I see Movie Profile Manager. So if you're working with a particular format or size of video, you don't constantly have to reset up Video Studio. You can all do that in your Movie Profile Manager. Share has now been dedicated a whole new page to themselves, and that's really nice. So over here I can see computer, mobile, web, DVD or Blu-ray, or 3D. But what you'll see is now that this whole page is dedicated purely for output or rendering. If I click through or cycle through the different options, I can also see the profile and the properties within that profile. I have a drop-down menu where I can choose quite a large range of profiles so that's really nice to know over here i have a brief description of what each profile does so that helps me along making the right choice and over here there's something new again now it tells me how much memory i have on my hard drive how much is used and what the estimated output is of the current project that i'm working on and that's a very handy feature to have let's head back over to the edit tab so now you can see in my tracks each track has a unique color for instance, if you look at my music track and I bring it into my audio track, like voice track, I now have purple. So I have a distinct difference between my voice track and my music track. Also in my overlay tracks and my text tracks, they all have unique colors. If I was to go into the wave format, I can now have blue with the black wave format. So the black really makes my wave format stand out. Now, one more thing, which is right unique to version 7 if i bring in a new video or picture and it's not quite right to size not a problem over here i have resampling options so i can keep aspect ratio keep aspect ratio no letterbox and fit to project size so by simply clicking fit pro, uh, fit to project size 
my new video will then automatically adjust to my project. Yeah.